Hey everyone, this is Andy at thedispoaudio.com and this is a one-shot tip video. Um, a fairly short one today. I was looking for some stuff on the internet a little while back and I stumbled across a picture. I've seen it before, it's nothing brand new. It's a photograph of a microphone and it's pointing at a guitar amp. So it's actually pointing at the amp, not at the speaker cab, not at the speakers and it's got the word FAIL in big letters across the bottom of it. So, seeing as I am at the moment writing a couple of articles for Guitar Interactive magazine about micing guitar cabs, as I've got the gear out anyway, I thought, let's give it a go, see what happens. So I did. And that's not what I was expecting. And maybe the point here is this. There's a, there's a thousand and one things that we know won't work because they simply can't work. It's so obvious this is a really bad idea. Um, perhaps it's just worth taking a couple of minutes every now and again and trying out something that looks as though maybe it's not going to work. See if you get something that's different and unique that you, can, uh, that you can actually use. So maybe try sticking a microphone face down an inch above the floor, six feet in front of a cab, or stick one behind the cab facing into a corner, or put one on a standard heck, put it behind the drummer. It really doesn't matter, but trying to find your own sound, trying to find your own voice or something that little bit different to put in your recordings, it's worth a couple of minutes of experimentation. You never know, you might find something that's well worth keeping hold of. Anyway, this is Andy with the thedispoilaudio.com. This was a one-shot tip for a better mix, but today it's more of a one-shot tip for a better recording. Hope that's maybe of some use or interest to you. Take care. Catch you next time.